Hi everyone, welcome to Harsha Trainings. So today I am going to make a video about uh, substitute operator in Pega. See, uh, whenever we are uh, implementing the routing feature, so when an assignment is getting routed to an operator, there is a possibility that the operator may be on leave. So when the operator is on leave, if we route an assignment, Till the operator respective employee comes back to the office, the task will be on hold. So we need to avoid this situation, which means that, see, when operator is on leave, so we may have to reroute the respective assignment to another operator automatically. Let's say there is operator, operator 1, and the operator 1 is on leave starting from April 1st to April 30th. During this time period, including April 1st and 13 and in between, if an assignment is routed to operator 1, we want it to be automatically rerouted to operator 2. So how can we achieve this business requirement using PRPC OOTB features? So that's what I'm going to show in you this video. So before you get into the video, please make sure that you subscribe to this channel and comment your questions in the below section of this video. And if you're looking for Pega training, please reach out to us on the given number scrolling in the video. Also, one more final thing that we are going to start a new training batch on Pega starting from April 12th. So timings of this batch will be morning 7 o'clock to 8 o'clock India timings. This is the most suitable timings for USA resources. So please make sure that you're not going to miss to join this batch to get the job opportunity. And one more great update from Harsha trainings is that so our resources, whoever is getting trained on Pega from Harsha trainings, those who are getting cross trained means who are already IT employees on different technologies and getting cross trained on Pega, we have opportunities with TCS to join as cross trained resource. So we are processing the profiles of our students to TCS. Uh, if any one of you are working on other technologies, you wanted to learn Pega at Harsha trainings, you will be getting so many opportunities like this in future. So just uh, if you are looking for any change in your career, any growth in your career further, so you can join Pega training or any other trainings at Harsha trainings. We provide the trainings in complete real time application development oriented. So thank you so much. Let's get on to the subject and video. Thank you. Now, see here, we are going to talk about substitute operator. Okay. See, whenever an assignment is getting routed to an operator, let's say the operator is on leave. In the next 10 days, operator is going to be on leave. That means even if the tasks are being routed to the operator, he will not be able to work on it because he is on leave. So when this type of situation occurs, we do not want the tasks to be waiting for that operator to come back and work on. So there is a facility called substitute operator. So using which we can automatically reroute the assignment to other operators, either work list or work basket. So if you open operator profile in the operator rule form, here you can see schedule absences. What do you see? Schedule absent, unavailable from, operator is unavailable from, uh, let's say tomorrow, 7th April, to till let's say uh, 18th April. So starting from 7th, including 7 to 18, operator is unavailable. During this time, on 7th or on 18th or in between the dates, any time, whenever the tasks are being routed to this particular operator, then because he is unavailable, it can be rerouted to a substitute operator, some other operator. So the other operator will receive the assignments. Okay, so if there is a routing that is been happening to the devimp at sbi.com or let's say manager. So in the operator rule form, if the unavailable from and two dates are being mentioned and if the routing date is falling between these dates, including either the start or end date, then automatically it will get rerouted to another operator. This is by default, it will go to him. See, this can be made something like conditional basis also you can call a decision tree okay you can go ahead with a decision tree in the decision tree there can be n number of conditions a is equal to b then return value is operator one 
a is equal to c then written value is operator 2 a is equal to d written value is operator 3 so when the operator is not available process command reads this unavailable form and because the operator is not available it is going to execute this decision tree so in the decision tree it will verify the condition one of the value will be written then the written value is going to be an, an operator then it will be rerouted to that particular operator it can be rerouted to operator or a work queue it can be anything so if you choose work queue then the written value here is going to be work queue this is optional to call instead of calling this here you can use the option you can use either work queue or either work queue or an operator id so accordingly it will get rerouted to either work queue or the respective operator when you choose the option here operator or work queue so this is called substitute operator okay so this we will be using only when in case when the operator is unavailable to receive the work so uh, and one more point here is look at here if you go to the assignment shape by default the substitute operator option will not be shown up here so route to custom you need to choose work list means single operator and this is the operator right only when you go with this custom option that time only you will be getting an option of check operator availability i'm sorry to work list and the operator id is this is the operator ID. router is to work list sorry to work list and the operator id is operator one some operator and now here there is an option check availability if you select this option then only it will check for the availability otherwise it won't check for availability so whenever you are going to use that unavailability you need to make sure that choose this option of check availability so at the time of routing process commander will check the availability of the operator which means it will go to the work tab of the respect to operator and there unavailable dates it will verify if the routing date is falling between the unavailable dates including start and end date then it will get automatically rerouted to another work list or work basket by default or it may be written from by executing a decision tree as well so this question will be asked during interviews